What's up guys, Justin here for s, &S Archery. In today's gear video, we're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the three Spot Hog Wise Guy releases that Spot Hog offers. Before we get into each release, a little bit about Spot Hog. Pretty much they've been around for a long time, uh, building phenomenal bow sights. You might not even know that they do make releases but they do a really good job. Uh, I personally have been shooting uh, this one here in the middle, which is the rigid with the BOA strap system. Now for a couple seasons, I, I love the features of the release itself. So getting into the first release, we're gonna start here with the rigid body with the leather buckle strap system. Uh, now this is a, a release that's going to be very consistent for you. Uh, we'll get into the strap system here in a second. Uh, but the body of this, like I said, this is a rigid body, um, so there is no nylon cord. Uh, it doesn't flex. It's very strong. Uh, to make an overall adjustment of your length, we have one Allen screw here. We can loosen or tighten to shift this, move it in or out. And as far as your connection point uh, to your bowstring or your D-loop, this utilizes an open style or side loading jaw. The trigger itself has a slight curve, which I think fits the index finger perfect. And there is a tension screw here below the trigger. So if you want to increase or decrease the actual shot going off, you can do that with this release. This release here is going to come in as the most consistent release that you're going to see as far as an anchor point. Um, because of the actual buckle utilizing individual holes within the leather strap, you're going to be able to set the release at a certain distance on your wrist every single time. So once you figure out your designated hole, as long as this leather hasn't stretched out, pretty much it's gonna go back. It's gonna be in the right spot every single time in your hand. The last feature with this release, probably one of uh, the coolest things about it is that the release can actually fold up out of your way. So as you can see there, normal release out front, but you can flip this back and it stays out of your way. All right, so getting into the next release here, we have a rigid body with the BOA strap system probably the most comfortable release out of the three. It doesn't utilize the leather strapping system, so it's a lot more forgiving. It kind of conforms to your wrist a lot better. Um, as far as putting it on, it's a breeze. Uh, you just push down here on the BOA strap system and you're just gonna turn it clockwise uh, to tighten this up. Uh, to release this release, you just pull that BOA strap up uh, and then you can slide your hand out. As far as the body of this release, it utilizes that same rigid platform. You do have the screw here for your overall length adjustment. The connection point is gonna be open jaw or side loading. You do have that curved trigger with a trigger adjustment here on the bottom. Uh, and the last thing about this release is you do have the same bend back feature as you do with that first release. As far as your consistency of the strap system itself, um, you know, depending on how many clicks or how tight you take this, it can be in a different spot every single time. So you really have to just kind of pick a spot on your hand and almost mark that because the strap system doesn't give you individual markings. All right, so getting into the last release here in the Wise Guy, we have the nylon cord with the leather buckle strap. Uh, so just like the first release, that leather buckle strap, going to be very consistent. Uh, you're going to be able to set that same distance every single time. Uh, as long as the overall leather doesn't get worn, stretched, it's gonna be very consistent. It's gonna, you're gonna have the same anchor point. So the main difference of this release, uh, this one utilizes that nylon strap, uh, so it definitely is not rigid like the first two models. Uh, if I drop this release, it's just gonna move out of the way here. Uh, the body itself, uh, pretty much the same features. You have that open loading style jaw, slight curved trigger, trigger adjustment here underneath. Um, so very similar in that sense, um, but the main body itself and how it connects to the, to the strap system, a lot different. Uh, the main benefit of this release is going to be, you're gonna have less torque. Uh, with the rigid bodies, if I'm ever in a spot where my wrist moves, the whole head moves, so it's putting a little bit of tension here on, on the D-loop itself. Uh, within the nylon cord, What's nice about this release is as long as I'm having pressure, I'm connected to my string and pulled back, the head itself is gonna stay the same spot. 
Uh, you may have just a slight movement, but a lot less than, than a rigid style. Uh, so that definitely helps with your torque, uh, especially you're starting to shoot weird angles, you know, on side, sides of hills and whatnot. Um, not every time is our wrist in the perfect spot. So this one does a really good job at, at fighting that, that additional torque that we put on those strings. Um, the one downside to this release is you don't have that fold back, uh, fold back feature just like here on the rigid bodies. So this one's kind of in the way at times. So that is one downside, but like I said, definitely good on the torque of your bowstring. The last thing I'll mention about all three of these releases as a whole is they are set up right-handed, but you can switch uh, the orientation of the bodies themselves and turn them and make them left-handed. So the buckle systems, everything's up on top. So uh, all three of these great options here from Spot Hog, definitely some good releases. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of these three models or anything else in the store that we carry, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, we'd be glad to help. If you guys have found this video to be useful in any way, please hit subscribe to follow us along on more gear, hunting, and review videos. Thanks guys.